Hi, cybersecurity professionals. Today is the fifth week of our learning of ethical hacking. I hope you all are still able to recap the previous sharing. If you are new to this channel, this is a channel where you'll be able to learn more about cybersecurity and gear yourself up to be a cybersecurity professional. So remember to subscribe to this channel. And if you are new to this channel and hope to learn more about ethical hacking, I'll encourage you to go into ethical hacking part one to have a better start. Today, we'll be going through two important concepts, ethical hacking responsibilities. And what should I do after a hack? Now, if you develop interest in ethical hacking, let's go through the responsibilities of an ethical hacker. This will be some of the common duties and responsibilities that ethical hackers will need to perform daily. Or I will say, some of the career path which the ethical hacker can look forward to. First, we know that an advanced level ethical hacker can carry out penetration testing. A series of testing to ensure that the system are free from hacking and vulnerabilities. Besides carrying out real-time penetration testing, an ethical hacker will need to create scripts that test for all these weaknesses. Not every day will require penetration testing, as penetration testing is not cheap. So during non-penetration testing hours, an ethical hacker will create the scripts and fine-tune their scripts, and help the team to fine-tune the scripts as well. Next, ethical hackers know how a hacking incident will work. So, they will be the best defenders in the company to develop tools to increase company security. Establishing a company security will also involve three portions, the hardware, the software, and the humanware, which is the company staff. So, the attacker hacker need to consider all three elements and come up with a strategy for the company. And they will need to develop or come up with tools to help with the company protections as well. Thirdly, besides carrying out penetration testings, the main duties of an ethical hacker will be to perform risk assessments. Ethical hackers will have the highest level of understanding in system security at the most vulnerable point of the study systems. So they'll be in the best position to perform the risk assessments. Besides carrying out an internal risk assessment for their company, they are also able to carry out a risk assessment for other companies after they have carried out a deep study of the environment. They might carry out assessment using software and policy guidelines like interview to gather all the necessary information. Following, as I mentioned before, the overall strategy for the company will include hardware, software, and humanware. So setting up security policy will be one of the job for ethical hackers. If there's no policy in place, it is also their responsibility to draft up and create policy from scratch. This also include drafting and reviewing policies for other companies. Some ethical hackers will also need to draft a firewall policy or other policy besides the cybersecurity policy. The last common responsibility of an attacker hacker will be to carry out training for internal and external staff. They will train the staff for network security and related domains. The best training advice you can get will be from the professionals. So what should a person do after they have been hacked? The first task the victim needs to carry out will be to shut down the system. This is to immediately cut off the communication from the network. This is similar to turn off the router or cutting off the firewall. This will be the first steps and you are on the right path as well. Then we need to separate the system from the network. 
This is like isolating the infected systems from the rest. So the infected system will not spread and affect the whole network. This is very important as if the whole network got affected. No matter how you cure or ensure that your laptop is safe, you'll be exposed to attacks from a network point of view. But having a bad or infected network will result in spreading across all the equipment in your network. Once you have ensured that the system is isolated and you are safe from any new attacks, the next step will be to reinstall the systems or restore the system with the backup. It is always good to keep a backup for a company system as it's not 100% safe in cybersecurity perspective. After you restore all the data and ensure the network is good and running, you will be able to connect the systems back to the existing network. But remember that you need an ethical hacker to review the systems and network before you can safely plug the computer into it. A pen testing might need to be carried out. And finally, if the data are encrypted and ransomware had happened, there will be a need to call and alert the police. Ransom is cybercrime and it's legal for you to do so. Let me share some simple tips to reduce the risk of ransomware attacks. You should always install antivirus into your systems and always ensure that it's the latest patch. Always back up your documents and file. The best practice will be to back up your documents and file every month. Save them into an external hard drive or SSD. Now, let's take a break from our ethical hacking for today. Do remember to like, comment and share. And I'll see you all for the next sharing.